spiral fixation of plate haptic lens in the absence of capsular support. Author has no financial interest in any of the product or procedure shown in this film. Surgical management of extensively subluxated lenses and aphakia without sufficient capsule support is challenging for ophthalmologists. Option for secondary intraocular lens implantation in eye lacking capsule support include iris and transcleral fixation. Transcleral fixation is divided into sutured and sutureless procedure. In our practice, we prefer Hoffman corneal scleral pocket technique of scleral fixation because there is no conductival dissection or scleral cautery, which allows for a faster procedure than a traditional triangular flap procedure. Easy dissection and conversion to a scleral fixated procedure if necessary, less induced astigmatism and rapid heading after surgery. White polymethyl metacrylate or foldable acrylic lenses may be used for transcleral fixation. The implantation of foldable lenses maintains the advantage of small incision surgery and working with a closed system as well as resulting in less vitreous loss, lower astigmatism, faster wound healing and early visual rehabilitation after surgery. The lack of eyelets or any haptic indentation or any specific haptic configuration leading to suture slippage or entangling and IOL decentration. In this film we show a modified technique of transcleral suturing first use of single piece plate haptic foldable acrylic IOL implanted by injector. Two scleral pockets about 3 mm wide are dissected posterior from the to 180 degrees opposing clear corneal incision using a metal 2.2 mm clear cut blade. The middle of 10 o prolen suture is grasped with micro forceps and passed through the hole of the leading haptic IOL. The needles are treated into the lobe of the suture and thus a Hitchcock knot is formed at the leading haptic of IOL. The same thing is repeated with the trailing haptic. Two needles extending from the leading haptic are passed through the tip of IOL cartridge. The cartridge is filled with viscoelastic material. Then IOL is inserted in the cartridge and two needles extending from the trailing haptic are passed through the tip of cartridge. After the four needles are passed through the tip of injector, the cartridge is loaded. The lens is now ready for injection. A 2.4 mm clear corneal incision is created and viscoelastic then injected. Both needles extending from the trailing haptic are inserted through main incision, docked into the 27 gauge needle and removed externally through the scleral pocket and the conjunctiva at 9 o'clock position. The same action is performed with the needles extending from the leading haptic at the 3 o'clock position. Finally, the IOL was inserted into the posterior chamber. After evenly tightening the suture, the IOL sits in its place and centers it. The suture retrieved through the scleral pocket using a Sinsky hook. The suture are trimmed and tied. 
Tying the suture ends recenters the IVL and allows the knot slides on the scleral pocket. The blue line shows a schematic arrangement of lens under the iris. Six months clinical results shows good visual profile and minimal induced astigmatism. All eyes achieved excellent centration and stability of the IEL. The use of plate haptic designs versus seal loop haptic design foldable IELs minimize manipulation in the anterior chamber during implantation IEL and eliminated complications such as suture slippage or entangling, eoldanesis, tilting and decentration. In conclusion, plate haptic posterior chamber IOL scroll fixation technique reduce surgery time and complications and provide excellent centration and stability with high visual results.